Welcome back everybody. What I have in front of me is a Lenovo ThinkPad P27. Uh, I'm sorry, P72. And it's in for some um, uh, repair work. So right now I have the Lenovo system update. It looks very different from the Windows 7 era. But right now there are some updates that um, they're suggesting there's a, uh, there's a driver rollback tool for the Intel NVMe SSD uh, firmware update utility and in uh, Intel Management Engine firmware update. So we're going to do those updates and then when that's done uh, I'm going to get the computer and the software all up to date and we'll do a little quick overview on this uh, uh, ThinkPad P72. Uh, it's a 17 inch laptop and something that I did actually help customize the, the order. Okay so finally got the test done and I uh, got the software update that needs to be updated. So I just wanted to show you guys what the uh, uh, the computer that we help configure all consists of. Uh, this is again, this is a P72, I believe it was last year's model. Uh, it's the i7 featuring the i7 uh, Core i7 8th gen, so it is actually have a CPU Z up here. It is the Core i7 8750H, the Coffee Lake. Um, so it is run the 14 nanometer process. This was the only CPU available at the time. I believe during that time they only had second gen Zen, or the third gen Zen had not come out yet at that time. And so this is a six core, 12 thread. Uh, the core speed, I believe it's, a, I want to say it's like 2.2 and a turbo is to four gigahertz, something like that. And so we do have the core speed up here. Uh, let's see, nine megs of level three cache. Uh, spread 12 ways. And uh, let's take a look at the SSD benchmark here. And again, this would have been the fastest SSD at the time because uh, uh, PCI Gen 4 wasn't out yet. It's an Intel SSD. And so we have a sequential read of 2,639 and a write of 1,501 roughly. So pretty quick SSD. Uh, this laptop has the option of going up to a 1 terabyte uh, M.2 with an additional uh, 1 terabyte M.2 installed. And you also have a, a, a space for a third disk is actually the uh, what we opted for was a two terabyte I believe it's a Seagate drive so yes it is a two terabyte Seagate drive uh, for storage so on this laptop you can get like a, let's say you opt up for the one terabyte one terabyte two terabyte four terabytes of storage on board there's no DVD uh, bay drive here uh, what we have on the side here is we have a, a combination a headphone microphone jack one super speed, two super speed USB. Uh, you have one display port here. You have an SD card reader, and you have an internet connector here. Power, and then you have this. Uh, you have an exhaust fan over here. And in the front, it's a very very spacious keyboard. Again, awesome awesome keyboard. ThinkPads have the best keyboards. Quite frankly, waterproof. Uh, they this one is backlit. Uh, we have the we have the trackpad. We have the uh, again, we have the left and right mouse, we have a traditional trackpad here, left, right, center, and then you have your, uh, you have your fingerprint reader here. And the screen, the screen is awesome. So we ordered a 4K IPS true color, true tone display. So it's a really, really nice screen. Okay, so it's just, it, it won't show up on video because I just, I don't have a 4K camcorder. Uh, so on the side, Let's see what else we got inside here. We have one USB uh, super speed here, smart card reader in the back, right here, oh, in the side, I'm sorry. And here's what it looks like in the front, in the top. It doesn't have a latch anymore, but it is built rather sturdily. And I have it connected up to the customer's thermal take uh, fan here. I'm just going to take this apart and I'm just going to, because I don't have my tripod and I'm the only cameraman. And so the thing is heavy. This is not a light notebook by any means. And so to our left, we have a super speed uh, USB. We have HDMI right here. Then we have two Thunderbolt connectors. And then we have a power connector there. And so we have a uh, uh, exhaust fan over here. And this is another exhaust fan here. And if we just flip it over to the bottom, uh, and we have, again, intakes all around here cooling. So and there's a fan right here too because this thing is pretty monstrous in terms of, uh, of heat output and such. Uh, I, haven't, I have not opened it just for the fact that this is still under warranty and so I don't want to uh, risk breaking any seals on this uh, because 
Well, it's a ThinkPad, and you have the little LED light here, uh, noting that the power is still on even though we've closed it. And so it's a really, really hefty, hefty machine. Um, it's heavy. It's it's got to be like ten, like seven or pound, seven pounds or something like that. It's it's not a light laptop, but you would pay what you get for. And this is a, a one of the best out there still, in my opinion. So I don't know why they couldn't uh, fit a DVD. I know people don't use DVDs that much anymore, but it would be nice to have one. Or you can always get an optical one, I suppose. But uh, just. Yeah, I'm going to try to get back into the uh, OS and show you something else in there. If we can click in here. And so, I don't want to show the password. Oops. I've just updated this to the newest version of Windows. So this is be, at the time of this recording, it'd be Windows 1409. I'm not sorry, 1909. And so, with the new Windows update, and it, it took a while too, so we do have the 1909 update as of right now, and then there's another optional update, and I'm just, well, we'll do that a bit later. Um, about the Lenovo software, there's a big L here. Now, they used to be called ThinkVantage software, but that's disappeared. So we go here, uh, you don't see any proprietary software here that interfaces with Windows like it used to. Um, I guess, I guess you have the ThinkVantage toolbar, and you can tells you how much power you have left, all that. Uh, we have Windows Power Options, Lenovo Vantage. So if we go to the L icon here, and this will take us to the Lenovo Vantage. This is the program that we use to update uh, the firmware on, on this laptop. And so I, I'm not a big fan of the fact that they just call it Lenovo Vantage. And it, we didn't make an account for it, so it, it does know that we are a P72 user. But we can, we do have some options of going to uh, power, audio, visual, uh, hardware settings, and the system update, of course. But um, it's something that you can only get so much out of this because, again, the, this laptop just draws so much power. Uh, in terms of like workload, uh, this thing can handle a lot of stuff. Um, but the thing with uh, the oh, sorry, the thing with uh, this is that. What really makes this uh, work really well is the Quattro card. So, uh, the Quattro card, and I have a new version of GPU-Z, and Qu well, Quattro cards are meant for work. You know, they're meant for 3D modeling, they're meant for uh, Premiere Pro, et cetera, et cetera. And so if we go here, I've turned off the Intel, built-in Intel uh, GPU. Um, and it, this one did have the Intel GPU built-in. And so, uh, the Quattro P2000, this particular version, if you can see here, we have, it is the, uh, here's the specs on it, 768 uh, shaders, uh, 32 wraps, so it's not anything mind-blowing. It's only running on a 128-bit on a bit bus, but again, what you're using this for is the dedicated software for, um, you know, GPU acceleration. And so there's a, there isn't, there isn't much of anything else you can really put on here. Um, but it does give you a nice uh, temperature reading, the sensors. The reason why I actually turned off the Intel uh, integrated GPU was that for some reason the swapping is, was not good. For example, if you went onto YouTube and you wanted to watch a 4K video, it would stutter. I mean, you, ha you could have the fastest, you could have the fastest internet, it's still going to stutter because, quite frankly, the, uh, the uh, GPU was not leveraged for 4K. So. Uh, what I did is we went into the BIOS, and that's what's nice about this particular model. Went directly into the BIOS, shut off the integrated uh, GPU, running it only on the discrete graphics. And so when you do that on the BIOS level, it fixes everything, you know, once Windows run, runs up. So whatever you run, and um, so let's sell, let's say, Adobe Premiere Pro, and we'll do a new project, and we do have GPU acceleration, CUDA. So, again... Um, sometimes on it switches right, but uh, specifically for like easy, no hassle uh, pro usage, it's best to turn off the internal or the integrated GPU on the i7 on this particular model here. So, well, that's as much I can do here without really showing anything else that will give us a copyright strike in terms of like video reproduction and music. The speakers are very loud. Uh, the webcam is a very good quality. 
But again, the battery life is not the best, but if you're looking for a workstation, the P72 is hard to pass up because it retains a lot of the design of the older, real, more traditional ThinkPads when it was still uh, roughly an IBM design. And so Lenovo has really, really cheaped out on some of the new ThinkPads. Uh, I really don't like what they've done with some of the new ThinkPads. It's lighter, but definitely it's not as robust. And some people really don't care. You know, some people do want the robustness. So, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, guys, please post them at the bottom of the video. Oh, I forgot. There's only 16 gigs of RAM on here, but it can definitely be expanded. I, can, I believe it goes up to 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, but I, I don't remember that data sheet right off the top of my mind, uh, head, so don't quote me on that. But, again, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, please post them at the bottom of the video.